Wow, it really feels like forever since I've last took out my camera and actually said hello in present time. Good morning. Uh, I really wanted to do this video just for the sake of really recording uh, life during this time uh, during COVID-19 as you know in New York City so today I am going to upstate New York specifically New Paltz, New York which is about two hours for those of you who uh, don't know me I went to school in upstate so that is a uh, primary reason why I want to uh, do a video it feels really weird because even though I live in New York City I don't really do a lot of videos here. Yeah, I'm excited to kind of do this. I've never really seen Times Square um, this early in the morning, almost 7 uh, a.m. I have to leave in about 10 minutes or so. I have to catch a bus for around, I think, 8 o'clock. I hope uh, whoever's watching this that uh, you are well and stay healthy. I know it's a little, sounds a little cliche, but um, yeah, I think it's a really crazy time right now and given all the news up until this point um uh, <laughs> my cat's mailing at me <laughs> breakfast time the breakfast is served enjoy all right making you serve see you at times square this is what times square station looks like As you guys can see, there is uh, very little people here. There's actually a decent amount of people on the train. In Times Square alone, this main tourist site, uh, it's pretty empty. Broadway is like a ghost town. Look at that. Fun fact, I used to work in that building over here. Let's go a little further down. Okay, so there's no one around, so I'm gonna take off my mask for a second, but in a way, I thought this would be a little more fun to film, but honestly, it's a little depressing because what I know as Times Square, I know like it's this huge tourist place, um, and just seeing it like this feels really weird and um, feels really sad in a way. So I'm probably gonna do this for like a few more minutes. It's about eight o'clock. I'm not sure if it's just like a timing matter, but uh, I'm pretty sure like even in the afternoon, there's uh, not a lot of people. I'm gonna go ride my bus uh, in just a little bit. Uh, mask back on. Let me turn the camera around so you can get a be better view. You can see like there's barely anybody behind me, um, in front of me as well. So while I originally said I wanted this kind of Times Square tour to have a little fun factor, I think like overall what I want to really show or mostly remember for myself um, is kind of the state of New York City, specifically I guess Manhattan in this case. Um, the hard thing is when this is all over, which is hopefully soon, I want to be able to, I don't know, somehow, I guess, remember what we've overcame. And I think this is like my personal way of doing that. I think it's really kind of hard to put it in words because there's so much that has happened in the year, um, even outside of COVID. 2020 hasn't been a good year for the world in general, I would say. Uh, I just want to show that visually. I think this is a very tiny part of COVID, a tiny part of 2020. This is in no way to represent the year. It's just a, what it is. Take it for what it is and that is Times Square, um, what it looks like right now. I think I talked a little bit too much. It's around a uh, person incoming. It's uh, 8.10 and got a bus to catch two hours later just got off the bus and look at this beautiful autumn foliage just quickly making a trip to campus right over here is where I used to take all my design classes I miss this view 
It really can't just be me that gets really sentimental when fall comes around, right? That's just the natural way of things. It's gotta be, right? I love that there's, well, I love that campus is also pretty empty. I think people are in dorms, um, but wow, they really changed some things. This building used to be this one, um, not white doors. Uh, and this uh, feels really uh, nostalgic. Um, I miss school, I miss college. Those are some of the best years of my life. Sorry, I just... <laughs> I'm not gonna cry or anything, but I do feel, you know, sentimental and uh, just missing college life a bit. So we talked all night about the rest of our lives. It's nice that, you know, so accessible here. We just come from the city and it's a really short trip. This mural is new. Once upon a time, I used to walk this path every single day for four years. I used to live in the dorm right down there across from the track over here. As you guys saw, um, the scenery here is uh, extremely beautiful. Uh, I think the fall foliage isn't at its peak just yet. Uh, there's still a lot of greenery around, uh, or green around, at the mountains behind there. Uh, the gunks, we call it. There are a bunch of oranges, reds coming along, but here on campus, as you can see, it's still decent amount of green. There's some oranges over there. Uh, but still very be beautiful. Sorry, I don't know why I'm out of breath. It's really heavy carrying the GH5. My arm muscles have deteriorated ever since eight months of quarantine. Well, I'm gonna go meet some friends. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this really odd vlog. Um, I guess vlogs are usually like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go head to a restaurant, a place called uh, Commissary. We're gonna have some lunch. Uh, I don't know if I'll vlog for the rest of the day, but we'll see. If not, sorry to end this vlog a little oddly. I want to say, um, as always, take my words with a grain of rice. Oh, we're going apple picking. Did I mention that? I think I mentioned it. Uh, so I may have some footage later. We just arrived at the apple picking, the orchard. Yeah, Jenkins Orchard. Hi, Lily. 